Hello all, welcome back to Sydney Stoma channel. My name's Chris, it's time for part two of my uh, colostomy through a stoma series. So this is part two. I'm gonna be just mixing up the solution in this video. Uh, I'm gonna give it some time to settle and then I'll come back and I'll taste it for you. So yeah, let's crack on with that. Um, if you haven't watched part one, this probably isn't gonna make much sense. So I would certainly go back and watch my last video. Watch for part one. So here we go with the Plenvu, the bowel prep solution. Let's get this out and mix it up. So it says put it in a mug or a jug rather, not a mug, and then add 500 mils of water. Let's open that up a little bit. More. It's not food cat. It's not food. You really wouldn't want this cat. Cat's always begging. You really wouldn't want this cat. So there it is. There's uh, the um, solution one, dose one, and there's the powder. Quite a lot, isn't there? That's a lot of powder. In this jug, we have 500 mils of water. So let's pour that in and then mix it up. It says it can take up for eight minutes for this to dissolve. Cool, that's thick. Uh, I'm not gonna stand here stirring this for eight minutes. I'm gonna give it a good stir, and then I'm gonna leave it alone. <laughs> smells fruity. Is this the mango flavor? I believe it is. I'm sure it says mango. It does smell actually quite nice. Smells all right, that does. Uh, in the past, before they put flavours in these, these were absolutely revolting. They're still not the easiest of things to drink. But that actually smells quite nice. It smells, it smells like it's going to be good. <laughs> but there we go. All right, so I've given that a good stir. Not like a brutal stir. Yeah, I'm going to leave that for eight minutes, as it says. And then we'll taste some. Well, we'll start drinking it. Um, so, yeah, I'll be back very soon. See you in Hello all, welcome back. So the solution as you saw was all mixed in the jug. Uh, it's been sitting a little while so it's now time to have my first glass of the bowel prep and we'll see what it tastes like. Like I said it smells quite fruity, it actually smells okay. So you have to drink a glass every 15 minutes and that's easy, you know that's just going to be two glasses really. Um, yeah, two glasses and, and that would be done. But I do, so I have to leave it, have this glass, leave it 15 minutes, have another glass, and then drink another 500 millilitres of water after that. So still quite a lot of liquid to go in. But yeah, it's um, grey looking, murky looking. But it does smell fruity. Right, let's drink it. Oh, oh it's thick and salty. Oh. oh, that's not nice. Oh. <laughs> it finishes so salty. Oh, that is salty and thick. It doesn't look thick. It really doesn't look very thick, but when you drink it, it's really quite thick on the, on the feel. Yeah. Oh, it's not as bad as some I've had. It's still pretty bad, of course. Really sweet now. That is really, really sweet. Sweet and salty. Interesting. Right, there you go. What I won't do is I won't film my um, having the second glass. It's going to be pretty much the same reaction as that one. But there's only really a, a glass or so left in there. Uh, but what I will do is I will add to part two, as this is part two. Um, seeing how quick it starts filling up my bag um, and how many times I might have to kind of empty that but I won't show you me emptying as I mentioned earlier there you go um, I'll see you soon cheers bye good morning well <laughs> welcome back to Sydney Stoma welcome back to another part of part two uh, so it's seven o'clock in the morning I'm still in my dressing gown I'm really tired I haven't slept well I have slept but just not slept very well uh, I was so conscious of the bag filling up during the night to the point where it would leak because it'd be too full that I just couldn't sleep. I just kept waking up and putting my hand on it all the time. Uh, and, and it never did. Uh, it, it did fill up during the night, but not 
to worrying concerns. So in terms of, I drank uh, dose one, didn't I, yesterday of the Plenvu bowel preparation. And yeah, it certainly did fill the bag up on one occasion or two occasions. So in total, I've only had to empty it three times. Uh, one of those was this morning, uh, but it, it, it was pretty big. Um, I'm so tired. <laughs> um, so right, what I've got to do this morning is drink dose two, which is sachet A and B. No, no, A and B sachets. Uh, they're already mixed, uh, and these are a different flavour to yesterday, which is why I'm doing this one for you. Just because it's a different flavour to yesterday's version. It smells like sherbet. It does smell like sherbet. So it's 500 mils, it's two glasses. But drinking this at seven o'clock in the morning doesn't feel right. But I've got a mug of coffee, because you can drink coffee. So wash the taste of this away. There's a bit in there that probably hasn't dissolved properly. Smells like sherbet, smells quite nice actually. Um, let's, let's crack on with it. Cool, that wakes your mouth up in the morning. Cool. <laughs> Blah. Cool. It tastes like sherbet as well. Like fizzy sherbet. Cool, that's a, that's a lot for your mouth to deal with at this time in the morning. Whoa. I think I prefer that to yesterday's. It's supposed to be fruit punch. Um, there you go. Uh, that's that one drunk. I won't drink that one on camera. Um, what we'll do is put up a picture of how big my bag was last night. Uh, and that'd be it until part three now. And so uh, that'd be all the solution drunk. So I've got to get that one down me. And then I go into hospital half past two this afternoon for the procedure. But that probably won't happen till sort of nearer four o'clock. So I probably won't be out till probably push in sort of five o'clock really so I will put up a part three tomorrow about how the colostomy through the stoma went there you go I'm going to drink that and go back and lie down for a little while <laughs> thanks for watching see you on part three bye now